Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to the Kokomara tutorial learning session 9. So in this tutorial we will be looking on how we can run a parallel Kokomara feature file. Okay. So let's see the agenda for today. Okay. So today we will be looking how we can run uh, Kokomara feature file parallelly. Okay. So we can do it a couple of ways like if you are using a JUnit 4 that is the native for a Kokomara. Uh, so utilizing the JUnit 4 you can uh, run your feature file parallelly uh, using the Maven Shiofire plugin. In that case, for the first case, using the only Maven Shiofire plugin, you have to have your uh, Cucumber runner file, separate separate runner file for separate separate test feature. Okay, uh, and there is another way you can run also parallelly using the Cucumber JVM parallel plugin. The plugin you will get in the uh, Maven repository. I will show you. So, uh, utilizing the second option, that Cucumber JVM parallel plugin, you don't have to create any runner class. So it will get created at the run time and accordingly test or classes or method will get run parallelly okay and the second option we have we can easily run our feature file parallel, parallel way in test ng so for that you have to implement the test ng abstract test, test ng cucumber test class uh, that i've shown my in my earlier tutorial that how we can run your uh, cucumber uh, runner class in test ng so in test ng then easily you can convert it into a test suite and in a test suite level you can easily run in parallel you have method wise class wise or test wise okay so far let me show you so in my case i'll be only using showing you guys how we can do it utilizing the maven shiofire plugin okay shiofire plugin and if you want to um, for this maven shiofire plugin i have uh, my i have created i have created my separate separate runner for my separate sort of feature file okay and the below one that using the if you want to use the kokuma jvm parallel plugin you can also use that for that you don't have to create any runner class so let me take you yeah in the maven repository you can see that the kokuma jvm parallel plugin is there so if you are using maven based project so you can directly add the dependency and the kokuma jvm parallel plugin jar file will get added okay and how it is operate and what you have to provide uh, at the runtime so that runtime runner class get generated for your feature file everything has been given in this uh, uh, in that uh, github documentation okay let me show you uh, okay so if you just go through the plugin uh, go through this uh, github documentation is very well maintained and uh, I have checked for myself that it is uh, if you mm, apply it for your uh, project, it will it will just work fine and it will uh, create the runner, uh, I mean runner class at the runtime and so that you can run your test case parallelly. And for my case, uh, I have taken I have created three separate uh, feature file. Okay, that separate feature file in this separate browser that I will be running parallelly. One is uh, feature file written in Google Chrome. Let me show a feature file. It's a simple feature file. Another one is I've created in the uh, Internet Explorer. And another one I'll be executing on the Mozilla Firefox. So let's see what exactly we are doing. In the Google Chrome feature file, we are doing just uh, this Amazon sign in feature file. And this is Chrome only version I'm given. And user will be navigated to the Amazon website. Then Amazon website homepage display. Then I click on the sign in button. Then it will navigate to the sign in page. Then I have to validate the elements in the sign in page. Then I'll close the Amazon site. So it's a very simple scenario that I'll want to validate in the Google Chrome. Same way in the Internet Explorer, I will be navigating in the Facebook page. And the Facebook page, I have to I have to click on the create a new page in the Facebook. So create a new page will get opened. And in that page itself, I have to validate some elements. I will close the browser. Okay. And in the Mozilla, I'll be validating, I will be navigating in the Facebook. I'll be clicking on the forgotten account in that Facebook home page. It will take me to the forgotten account home page. And in that um, forgot account link, I have to validate the uh, different different fields over there. And then I'll close my browser. So you can see the in my Mozilla, I'll be performing the feature for Facebook forward account. Internet Explorer, I'll be performing Facebook create page. And Google Chrome, I'll be doing the Facebook Amazon sign in, uh, sign in Amazon. Uh, sign in page uh, validations okay so for this three feature file i have created the successfully my glue code in my com.cucumber.test this is my uh, 
uh, glue code for uh, uh, for Google Chrome. So see, I mean, all the steps have implemented given Chrome only validations. Then Amazon homepage displayed. I click on the sign in button. Amazon sign in page display. I validate the sign in pages and then closing the website. Okay. Uh, it's a pretty simple scenario. I mean, the code is also simple. Uh, and for the i uh, i browser, I'm checking. I'm instantiating, uh, instantiating the i driver. Never in the Facebook login page. Then I click on the create pages. And below that element should be displayed and then um, validating and closing the browser. Same way um, in a Mozilla Firefox, uh, that's my glue code as I've, that I've written for each and every step. Okay. So I hope already you have guys have updated how you can maintain the glue code, how you can write your code. I'm, I'm not going to details into that. It's a very pretty simple code. Uh, let me take you to my runner class. So for each and everything that I maintained uh, in my com.cucumber.test, uh, for that I have created a runner class. So, as you guys already have, or if you are using, uh, if you want to run parallelly, it's uh, you should have uh, one runner class per feature file. Okay, so make uh, make a note of it. One runner class should be there for per feature file if you want to run it parallelly. Okay, so if you want to create your runner class uh, manually, then you can do it. Or if you want, if you don't want to create a runner class manually, so then you can utilize the Cucumber JVM plugin parallel packing okay so it will create your runner class uh, um, i mean at the runtime you don't have to worry about that uh, of the runner class okay so for my case only three cases are there i have created three runner file uh, runner class file so let me show you this is a chrome runner class file the feature i'm uh, targeting here the google chrome feature and plugin format is a pretty format tags i'm using a chrome called google chrome i maintain tags as a chrome okay so for internet explorer i am created the ie browser runner file this is also same uh, targeting the Internet Explorer feature. Tag, its tag is IE browser. And glue code, uh, where is my glue code is located? I maintain its computer test. Same for the Firefox runner also. Okay, you can see my code. So the basic simple uh, three runner file created for three different feature file. So first, let me uh, run this feature file uh, sequentially, and I will again run this feature file uh, parallelly. Okay. So. Um, Uh, let me close the browser. Don't need first still I'm, I'm closing my browser. Okay. Ign uh, ignore the other part that I've already commented out. So in that uh, Right now, I'm going to run this uh, IE browser runner. That is not basically only running the IE browser uh, uh, glue code. I have here mentioned the three feature file: IE browser uh, Internet Explorer feature, uh, Google Chrome feature, and the uh, Mozilla Firefox feature. Okay, so three feature will be run sequentially here. Let me run it, and then I will run it, uh, using the parallel parallelly. Okay. So first, I'm launching it as a sequential manner. Let what. So it's a pretty simple step, so you don't take much time. Just to just to show you guys whatever the flow is working or not before I will add it parallelly. So first is target the Chrome bug at this moment. And it'll take some time. Let me. So this is my three feature file. But I uh, can see. So we navigate to the online shopping page. Then sign in page. Whatever it validate validation it will done, and then just closing the testing the test moment. So the for the first time I sign in that has been done. 
and it's uh, right. it's now operating in the i buzzer so i buzzer is now created it's going my i buzzer it's navigating to my facebook pages then it will navigate to the my create pages then it will uh, close the browser instances after validations okay now it's time to open the firefox So my Firefox was able to paint and it's loading the Facebook pages now it will go to the forgotten account. So forgotten account is displayed and it will carry the pages and closing the browser. Okay guys, so see, see this is my three feature file, Amazon sign in and feature create, Facebook create page and Facebook forward page. Okay, and so inside the three feature file, we have separate, separate scenario. So all the scenarios are related. Uh, this features I have run sequentially. Now let me run this uh, feature parallel way. Okay, so for this, let me take you to my package explorer and let me take you to my uh, form XML. First, I'm going to do it parallel using the using my POM XML, okay? And oh, I have to make sure of that these things are needed. Why did I need our? This I browser is already defined. Okay, 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 got it. Just delete one person to define. Okay, so I've just uh, taken it back to my for on the I Internet Explorer feature. Okay, and what I was showing that let me take you to my POM XML that POM XML I launched this is the form excel i'm maintaining okay if you want to if you want to run it parallelly before before that i would like to make make sure that uh, when you are going to run parallelly i mean why would you do that like uh, suppose uh, according to my project experience i'm telling that if you have some large feature file okay suppose the registration flow yeah some uh, particular project change request has been come pcr changes so the, you can segregate the pcr and you can uh, divide the PCI into several uh, small small scenario and each scenario will be containing different different validation so support there supports there is a project uh, huge feature file you can consider so inside that feature file you can uh, create more than 10 or 12 or 15 uh, you just I mean user scenario so you can pass the scenario I mean by mentioning the tag right I mean we do have an option if we if we suppose if we uh, if my scenario feature contain I mean at least 20 scenario there's a huge functionality I'm going to check. Uh, so it has been divided into 20 or 30 scenarios. So we can also do the scenario wise executions by, uh, by uh, mentioning the tag, right? In the Cucumber uh, runner class, I just have to mention the tag, whichever tag I want to execute and whichever tag I don't want. So in that case, we can also utilize the feature. Uh, but if you want to run uh, several feature, like if you want to run several projections requires a small project, then then uh, the parallel things comes into the picture. So you can also, I mean, uh, we don't have to run it parallel. That's why it's not given with the Cucumber itself. Uh, but okay, so let me show you how we can run the um, feature file parallelly. So see, I mean, uh, the for the feature uh, running the feature file parallelly, you have to have those dependencies. That for my dependency, I have the third Maven compiler plugin, the version 3.0. What it is does, I mean, I've, I've written it. The compiler plugin used to compile the source of your project. So whatever the Java class you have written, it will compile it utilizing that Maven compiler plugin. And fork true that I maintain it will help to create the Java uh, version uh, JVM. Okay and executable at java exe path and maintained uh, source target that you can see and implement in your project by 
the what about the same I have maintained in my form and the most important part that you also need to have the sure for plugin that uh, what is the use that you will be using during the test phase of your build life lifecycle to execute your unit test of an application so it will also help to generate the report excel files and plain text files so this is the main part uh, may have ensure for plugin i'm using uh, version 2.18.1 okay so if you using that may have ensure for plugin make sure you do it this way insert inside the configuration classes make make your uh, uh, method i'm going to run my three runner classes parallelly okay so i have mentioned classes only you can also run as a write as a method also okay if you want to run it the separate separate method parallelly okay for my case i will be running it a uh, class only so i've written this way the parallel mode is classes fork mode is part thread and total thread count i've taken as a three why I'm taking as three? Uh, there's a three separate runner that I'm going to operate is uh, utilize, utilizing that uh, Maven base form. So there is three thread will be operating for three runner class. Thread one will be operating for suppose Google Chrome. Thread two will be for uh, instruction in the in, uh, Internet Explorer uh, driver. And thread three will be operating on the Mozilla Firefox. Okay, so three thread I've taken. Our argument line that um, you don't have to worry about that. I mean, if you navigate to the Maven uh, Maven website, you can see that. It's taking my computer is getting hanged frequently. Okay, I mean, if you get to the Maven Shifter plugin for option and parallel text execution, so you can be able to see the different different argument line you can also. Mm, provide in your uh, maven based uh, in your form xml i haven't provided anything but uh, only that part if you uh, see so just uh, you can also provide the system property variables and those things i haven't provided all those things okay and for count uh, one more thing i mean you can uh, this thing let me copy it okay 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 you can also use a fork count or use false by default use false will be always true okay and fork count why will be using it if you want to if you are using that you don't have to use that uh, parallel mode okay if you use that fork count still i have uh, I've, uh, I've seen that it will run test script uh, sometimes sequentially uh, not parallelly uh, using the fork count what it will do it will create three separate jvm okay it will create three separate jvm and only one thread will be operating on each jvm okay so uh, using for count you you can also run your test script parallelly but i would suggest that i uh, got it I, I prefer this way parallel utilizing the parallel classes and if you're using thread here only one jvm will be there and three thread will be created for operating on three separate classes okay so for count it will create it will create three separate jvm okay and one Trade will be operating on separate separate JVM. So just don't have to worry about it right now. So the simple things parallel mode classes, uh, fork mode, part thread I am using, thread count rule 3 argument and given includes, includes as a regular expression given. So the runner class. Uh, this is my runner class chrome browser runner class firefox browser runner class and i browser runner class okay so see the class is ending with runner.java so i mentioned whatever the class that included i mean uh, what are the class that ended with runner.java it will only consider those classes also you can provide them expressly also you can provide them different different names also okay but i am provided because all these three runner classes are ending with the runner.java arrest all the different okay 
and Mavel she has a report plugin there's a different part if you want to generate report and you also have to consider uh, I have already discussed it before so this is the main configuration you have to consider parallel mode classes fork mode per thread thread count out over the classes you want to run and argument line and whatever the test on our classes you have to provide okay so let me down my pom xml i'm going to run it as a maven test so it will just take some time to load all the dependencies and compiling my test resources then it will start my education okay It started my executions. So IE browser and Chrome both browser has been launched successfully, and we can see that uh, Chrome browser is loading the Amazon website. It's taking some time, and IE browser is loading the Facebook. Chrome browser it will also launch. It's taking some time. Okay, so in the Chrome, Amazon website is getting opened. In the IE, let's open the Facebook pages. Based on Chrome. And accordingly, meanwhile, that uh, Fire was also launched. So Currently, my Chrome Firefox is operating. I is done and I driver has been successfully closed. Let me take you to my clips. Uh, okay. So, once execution done, I and Chrome both should get closed. Okay. Okay, so both driver instances have been closed successfully and the build is success. It's so, guys, uh, one thing also I'd, I would like you to know that if you are using parallel way to run your uh, Super, super feature at the same time it may happen that a cucumber report will get uh, garbled i mean like mix up so whole thing will be mixed up so make sure you have a different di directory for each and every uh, feature file so that after the all process has been done you can merge all this report in the single okay and so so we have seen that how we can run our feature file uh, utilizing the maven cfr plugin okay using the parallel mode and power port uh, there is another way uh, let me show you we can do it if you are using a test ng you can also do it uh, for my earlier tutorial that i have shown how we can do it using the test ng in that case you have to add to dependency uh, i have disabled the dependency let me enable it okay so dependency one info for cucumber test ng that you need to provide and cucumber To build my workspace okay so in my earlier tutorial I have shown you guys how you can run our JUnit Cucumber runner classes as a test engine classes and let me show you not, not this. the test engine runner demo so after the adding all the dependency that in that the class I'm extending as the abstract test ng Cucumber test I'm extending this class and see i mean the run with options this is the class that comes with JUnit. i'm i'm not using it okay so i'm only using it as a test ng classes so if you have if you are using your runner class as a test ng class then it will be easier for you to run it as a parallel way just simply click on that and go to the test ng and convert to test ng so converting it to the test in strict classes here we have option that class selection classes and parallel mode we have three options class method and test so we can choose whatever the option is preferable the classes if you want to run so accordingly like whichever uh, the i mean parallel mode you want you in the inside that you have to mention uh, class name uh, Okay, inside the option you have to mention the class name. I mean, uh, if you want to run three or four class, then just all all you have to do is to uh, provide all this class name, the runner class you have to provide, and just will be set as the classes. Uh, click on the finish, it will get created. 
and you can easily i mean uh, run the test engine suite classes as a test engine suite okay so this you utilize in a test engine you can also run your case uh, cucumber feature file parallelly and if you are using native j unit 4 as a cucumber uh, so then use the cucumber maven so that's all for today guys i mean uh, we have seen that there are basically a couple of ways that we can utilize to carry out our parallel testing in cucumber uh, first option we have utilizing the maven shira plugin and if you want to create runtime runner class then you have to uh, use the cucumber maven parallel jvm plugin and if you want to navigate switch to the test ng then it's easier for us to also like just you have to add the dependency and utilizing that uh, test ng runner classes you can run your test class parallelly maintaining in the test ng suite classes okay so that's all for today guys and if you have any questions then let me know i would be happy to help you okay so thank you guys for watching